right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, and it's 30 degrees today, Friday the, oh, whatever it is of June, it's something of June. Oh, on the bench. That's it. Right. Uh, first of all, thank you very much, MRH6976, thank you very much for your comments. Um, I, I, have, I have got a Van Gogh tent that goes, but it's not a Van Gogh, it's just a Viking. And it's a easy erect tent, but I'm knocking it must be at least a metre wide. I've never weighed it because it's just too bloody heavy. But it served me a good purpose. I've still got it today. I've had it for about, I don't know. I went like that and, and my arm disappeared out of the screen. So that's how big it is. <laughs> so look at that. <laughs> um, I'll have to get the name of it and put it down there somewhere. I might even put a picture of it down there. Um, but it served me in great stead. Uh, my other tent is a, uh, a Van Gogh and a and a oh what is it a Coleman's. Um, I've not used the Coleman's yet. I'm still waiting to use it. I'm still waiting for the, the uh, right opportunity to use it. Uh, but I will do. I will use it. Um, yes. What is it you say? What is it you say? Well, I thought it's been a long time since we've done anything with the um, the rifle, so we'll just do a bit more. Um, this is where it is at the moment. We're at that bit at the moment. We've got the spring in there, and the I don't know what that bit is. That technical bit there. That's the, when you load it, that's the pressure bit there, that's where it, it pushes there. I don't know what that, that there is. Anyway, we're going to take a bit of this apart, we're going to um, have another look at this. So, let's get back to it. Right, now, then. back at that. Now, I've got the trigger mechanism off and um, you can probably see that much in this light, but what it is... Right, you've got the trigger mechanism there, which is held in by that spring on there. Spring trigger, not like trigger out of fools and horses. We've got this string, string and springer, um, held in by that pin, whatever you want to call that pin. Um, it's really well put together. It really is. I'm, I'm a big fan of this. Uh, considering this is older than me, it's not bad. Um, well, that's your that's your doodah bit. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's a doodah bit. Um, it's very, very, very well made. That's the end cap that goes on there, and it comes out easy enough. Now then, this is the tricky bit because that spring in there. Is held on by that little clip there. And as soon as I release that clip, that spring is under tension and it's going to go straight out. So I'm not going to do that now because I'll make myself look a complete twat. Um, I'll do that off camera, so to speak. Um, plus, I think I might do it outside. I don't know. I'm going to do it on the floor where the spring can't go everywhere. You know, like it normally does. Oh. I saw a guy once, couldn't believe what I was seeing, in the um, engineering workplace and um, he was undoing a shock absorber off a van, off a, a Leyland van and he hadn't taken the tension off the spring, all he'd done was Got a big spanner on the nut at the top and was slowly, slowly, slowly edging this spanner off. 
you know when you kind of look at someone and you think, nah, you're not really going to do that, are you? But it just didn't stop. He just kept going. And I said to him, you all right? You know what you're doing? He went, yeah, yeah, know what I'm doing. And I'm thinking, no, you don't. But I don't want to be there when that thing goes bang. And he was right near the top of the nut. And then suddenly, boom, this thing went bang. The spring went everywhere, the little collets at the top went all over the place. Jeez, he never found out, he, he never found the bits that went with it <laughs> and scared the living shit out of everybody in the factory. <laughs> he wasn't a bright spark, he really wasn't. But if you could give the man a plus point, he could fart to order. I mean, you could just say, Give us a fart, get his name now, give us a fart, and he would fart. Uh, anybody could just fart on on an order is it's pretty impressive or just full of gas like me anyway right so we'll come back to do some more on the um, the, 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 the the air gun and it's all cleaned up and it's all ready and I've got that thing in a vice and it's all ready to be done properly um, I won't do that in front of you because I'll make myself look a complete twat I'll, uh, I'll do that when I've got less time um, Right, okay. What should we do now? Let's talk about something else. Right, here we go. In the oak. Come here, come here. Right. This is Fudge. Fudge. We're looking after Fudge for a couple of days. And he's lovely. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's a good boy, isn't he, eh? Yeah. Right, top tips for you campers out there. More camping tips. If you ain't got one of these, it doesn't really matter. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's a tent. It's a tent peg pull. That's easy for me to say. It's a tent peg puller, not it, or a head scratcher. Um, if you ain't got one, all that is is a tent peg in a plastic handle. That's all that is. What you do to pull the plug? Oh, you can't get it out. All you do if you've not got one of these is turn your tent peg on a side, put that through the tent peg and pull it out that way. All right, that's the easiest way of doing it. Personally, these are all right, but that bit needs to be, I'm going to have to work on that because that's got to be more of a hook because that, pull on that, if, only, if you pull on that, it's only going to come at the wrong angle and it will come off because that's not very good. So I'm going to bend that down a bit. But yeah, tent peg puller get one. Also, get yourself some of this stuff. Some of this stuff. Some of this stuff. Do you know what it is? It's that, it's that non-slip rubbery type stuff. I mean, get it, get it on websites that, I mean, it really is cheap. It really is cheap. And, it, and it's brilliant. I know it's brilliant because I use it all the time. When you're, um, when you're putting stuff down, that it makes it non-slip. It's brilliant. Now, the other thing I use it for is, I've got this one because it's super long, is that I put this across my bike over the side panniers um, so that when the luggage goes on, it doesn't scratch the side panniers. Um, but so far, it's done the job, and this is dirt cheap. It really is dirt cheap. Probably other ways doing it, but the other thing is, because I put my luggage on this and I put it over the side panniers, because it's wobbly and stickery, it don't move. It don't go anywhere. It stays there, and because this stays there, your luggage doesn't tend to want to move either. So it's a good stuff. That is a good tip. No good in a fire, but it is good for making things not slide around. That was a tip. Your next tip is me sneezy. Your next tip is these are cheapest chips. They really are cheap. Get one of these for your tent. 
you've got a little hoopy thing there that hooks on the, the door of your tent it's, um, it's got three lights on it I'm not kidding you it's brilliant set your tent up at the first day put this in a little hook most tents have got a little hook just inside the door get that on your hook and it was dirt cheap off of Amazon it really was cheap um, it takes a takes one of them collection of takes one of them cartridges of three batteries um, they all seem to do that these days head torches and things like that um, honestly best thing my wife bought me this but it's the best thing one of the best things she ever bought me and it is I, I only genuinely use that first light because that's plenty um, I've never ever had to use that and that that is a tip. I'm feeling generous. Here comes another tip. This is a tip. This is a solar charger for your mobile devices. It's got the USBs and the uh, the um, so you can charge it manually. You've got that that mini USB there. It's got torches that if you push that button, if you hold that button down all the time, you get a torch. That does that. Now I know it's charging because it tells me so. It's not plugged in. It's charging because of the light. Now what I did was when I got it, I I waited till one of my devices, a phone or this tablet even, was going down low, and then when it went to zero, switched off, I charged it with this, and it charged really quickly. I was quite impressed with how quick it charged. Um, again, this was cheap off of I think it was about 14 quid off of Amazon really cheap um, and then once it was flat all I did was I put it on the windowsill in the bedroom and when I woke up this morning it was charging now this isn't it's not going to charge very quickly it's a slow charge um, but the thing is, it's free energy. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Just leave this to charge on its own. It takes a week, a fortnight, it doesn't matter because it's free. Um, now I'm going away in July, hopefully, and this little baby is going to come with me. Um, I will take it back up, but I'll take this on my trip. They said it's waterproof as well. Um, I'm going to leave it out in the rain to see if it is waterproof. Um, That'll learn them, won't it? Hey, yeah. Uh, but that is such a good thing to have. It's a good, good thing to have. When you use devices, cameras, phones, tablets, laptops, whatever, this it, sort of thing is a good thing to have. I'm not saying this particular one. There's plenty out there. Just go find one that suits you. But this is a good thing to have. But it's still charging. Right, and that is from flat. So I don't care how long it takes to charge. If I need it to charge any quicker, I'll plug it into the mains and charge it that way. But I don't. It can it can take a fortnight to charge for all I care. It just sits there. And because they say it's waterproof, when I'm away, it can just sit outside as well on the bike. Or as I'm travelling on the bike, it can sit on top of the bags and charge away. It's charging all the time. It's in the sunlight. I'm happy with that. And that, as they say, is a top tip. Is that a camping tip? Don't know, but it's a tip anyway. Still charging. Alright, so MRH 6976. Um, I'll put a couple of pictures of my tents up there uh, to show you. Well, I've had my tents, I don't buy them at the end of the, the year or the end of the season. My tents, once I've bought them, I've bought them. I don't throw any, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I'm tired, I don't, I don't throw anything away as you can see from the shed or as you can't see from the shed um, but the 
the tents I've got I've had for years um, I buy a good tent and I keep it and don't throw it away and just just try and keep it in good nick I'm careful when I put it up I'm careful when I take it down um, I don't have the money to go and buy a tent every year I just don't have that money I don't have that disposable income I don't have disposable income um, Right. Update on the rubble. Remember the rubble? The council have been round there and had a word with the fella. But they, they've stayed nowhere to say it's private land, there's nothing you can do. Well, it ain't private land, don't belong to us, don't belong to them. Who, whose land is it? Whose land is it when nobody owns it? That's my question. Be a question of the week. Anyway, thanks for watching. Just a quick video. I um, hope you're all having a good time, I hope you're having a good summer. Fudgy's having a good summer. <laughs> what are you doing? Fudge might have a bit of Harley Davidson engine oil on him because he's just gone under my bike. Well done, Fudge. <laughs> oh, he's going to come on this side. goes to the doctor and he says to the doctor doctor it hurts here 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 and here doctor says you broke your finger right on that stay clear of the idiots don't come it's no time Hi Toots, hi Toots, hi everyone in America, Australia.